Hello, I'm Leanne from Spectrum Noir, Crafters Companion, and we're going to have a look in this little clip at how to colour hair. One of the things that um, I get contacted about most often, and one of the things that I think you may find the most difficult, is how to get a shine on hair, and the difference between colouring curly hair and straight hair. So we're going to have a look at how to do that, and we're just using one of our lovely little Angelica girls, because she has lovely straight hair and a ponytail and her little curly bits at the bottom there. So we're going to have a look at how to achieve this to get the difference between curly and straight with a nice shine down the middle so she looks lovely and healthy. So I've got my little girl here and the colours we're going to use are tans, TN7, TN5, TN3, TN2 and depending on how I'm feeling because I'm like that maybe a little bit of TN9 but we'll see how it works out. So we're going to start with the lightest colour and we're going to do the curly bit first because this is the bit that I think is the easiest and potentially the most fun for you. So don't overthink the curly hair bit. Don't try and think of every one of those little areas as an area that you have to colour individually. Just use this basic technique and I guarantee you'll get fabulous results every time. So we're literally just going to draw circles all over where the curly hair is. I'm not worrying about the fact that I can still see white in there because that will get less as we, as we go on with the different colours and actually little bits of it will leave nice little highlights so it'll look like real curls. So I've just done lots of little circles and that was using TN2. Then I'm going to my darkest, my TN7 and I'm going to do exactly the same again. And I'm not being too precise I'm not worrying about getting an even distribution of them. I'm just randomly putting down little circles. And it doesn't look very beautiful yet, but it will become much more beautiful. And now I've got TN5. And guess what? Random little circles. And finally, TN3. And what happens is you see where the little circles start to overlap, not trying to make them overlap, but naturally as you draw them, it starts to blend all of the different colours together for you because it touches the edges. So now I'm just going to go back with TN7 again. Put in some more darker areas. Because with curly hair, the light doesn't hit in one place, it hits all over the place. That's unfortunately, as I know, the nature of the beast. And then we've got TN5. And that's really starting to look much better now. I'm happy with that. But what I do want to do is just add in some of my TN2. So I'm going to go in now and add in some highlights. If only it was this easy. There we go, and then with the TN9, so the mood is taking me, I'm just going to add in a little bit more shade now in depth, and I am going to be a little bit more controlled about this, because I want this to be kind of the underlay, the underneath bits. So rather than circles, I'm just picking the odd curl and doing kind of like a little comma or speech mark underneath it, just to pick in some more of that depth there, and that's worked a treat for me. Finally, because her ponytail has been pulled back over the top of this curly piece, we do need a little bit more depth just under there, a little bit more shadow. So I will, with TN7, just go and add that in because it would be much darker there. And then just to soften it, TN5, little circles over the top. And that's perfect for me, happy with that. So that's how quick and easy curls are to achieve. Now we're going to take the same pens and we're going to do the shiny bit on the top. And what we're going to do is flick in the colour. Now you can see here on TN2, um, I don't have my brush nib. In fact, we'll not use the brush nib, we'll just do it with the bullet nib so you can see how that works. 
So I'm just going to continue with the bullet nib and what I'm doing is from the ponytail out into the center and then from her fringe or if you're in the US, bangs, I'm going to flick that out from there. So all of us in the same direction, vary in length in the strokes. Leaving a little bit of white in the middle because that's where our highlight will be down the center of her head. And then I'm going to go now with the TN3, which is the next color. So that was TN2, this is TN3. And I'm coming out from her ponytail, just flicking different lengths of stroke out into the center. And the same from the fringe or from the bangs. I like to use this flicking technique because um, hair is stranded. And so, you know, I, I personally, when I'm coloring hair, do not like to do a smooth blend. I do like to see the flicked pen strokes to achieve that effect because for me it looks more like a natural hair strand like it would be uh, and I prefer that look to a smooth blend. If you prefer the smooth blend absolutely you can colour the hair that you're colouring in that way and just use the same technique that we've used on the other little YouTubes with the smooth blend technique just do that um, or with the basic blend but I do prefer to do this because I think you get a more realistic result. So just flicking into the center. And again, it's all about layering. It's all about the layers building up to create the blend and the natural texture and highlight. So there, once I've got my map, I'm just going to repeat that whole process again, but this time I'm going to come out further with my first layer of TN2 lighter flicks more into the center because that's where I'm going to get the shine and I don't want the shine to be completely white. So you see how I'm starting to fill that in a little bit with that final layer of TN2 and then TN3. And you'll notice that I'm turning this image around an awful lot as I work on it. And that's because I do find it easier to flick in one direction. So rather than trying to flick backwards, I can never do that. It's never as successful as flicking away from myself. So that's why the image is being turned around a lot. Much easier to do that than, than turn yourself around the table. That's TN3, TN5, and you can do as many of these layers as you want until you're happy. I'm going to stop after I've done two, and then my final one, TN7, and I do want it to be much darker back here where it's been pulled into the ponytail. And then my final layer of TN7 here, and again, it wants to be much darker where a little headband is there, because that would definitely be more shaded. And here, the front of a headband, a couple of little flicks. And then my final is just to, over the centre highlight, I don't want to colour it in, but I do kind of want to join it up to her, just keep the shine. It's just flick over the top of it. And there we go. And you can see there, that's two entirely different types of hair, how to colour curly, how to colour straight. And what I did was continue and just do her little ponytail there with the curly method. Um, and then we've got two entirely different types of hair. So have fun practicing with that. Um, I like to use a minimum of four colours on hair. You can manage it with three, it depends on the colour you're using. Have a look on the Spectrum Noir website. We've got ridiculous amount of hair colours worked out for you in there. All of the combinations for everything from the palest blonde through to the funkiest purple and everything in between. So do have a look because we've given you lots of lovely suggestions and have fun colouring hair. Mm -hmm.